Hey everybody, welcome back. It is Lucid. We're hopping back into our game with Lemuria in Lord of the Flies. It's turn 66, and that uh, that means we're going to have some really good battles this turn. Um, if you recall... Who is this? Okay. If you recall last episode, we were attacked by a... Uh, what is it? Devourer of Dreams? The episode before, we were attacked by a slave to unreason. And uh, I'm trying to show you guys all the Doom Horrors. So here is the Abomination of Desolation. And he has Devour, which will permanently kill, I believe. I, I, I could be wrong on some of these. I know some of the, the Devour or Soul Destroy. There's a few things that will actually kill Immortals. I think this one will, but I'm not totally sure. Um, but he has Teleport amongst uh, very high paths. So let's see what happens here. This does not bode well. Oh, he gets a little host of these guys. False horrors. It kills my dude, my little bodyguards, and then zaps me with a thunder strike, which actually is okay. Uh, it does kill me, which is unfortunate because I probably had um, uh, I probably had uh, Ritual of Returning up. Here we cast uh, a Living Castle, and there's a Gortide gore Horror here to fight us. Uh, but I have my Bottle of Water and some Bodyguards. And I'm summoning Horde of Skeletons. And this should be enough to kill the Gortide. Don't run into combat, though, please. Yeah, if you could just make more skeletons, that would be perfect. I don't know this run into combat shenanigans you're in. She does have reasonably high defense and a... Uh, tower shield and a reasonable weapon so when she runs in she's doing something okay it does look like that killed me um, though in this case um, the battle replay is not correct I stole them but you could see it could have gone either way um, so it looks like I cast enslaved mind and got it um, unfortunately though you don't get to keep these guys even if you get them uh, which is too bad. It would be fun to build up a horror army by enslaving things uh, during Astral Corruption. And then finally we get attacked by a lesser horror here, and that uh, unfortunately kills us. Uh, even though, let's check this out. I think I had... It's really odd that would kill me, because I probably should have... Yeah, I do have uh, Ritual of Returning. Yeah, that kind of just wrecked my, my stuff. Um... Yeah, okay, so next uh, we found a magic site, we found an enchanted tower, that's an Earth-1 site. Uh, and then there's some battles, I'm gonna just click through these here. Uh, he just had some cultists ping me in retreat, I think, maybe trying to cause gym usage. Here we have um, a battle in Alluvia, which is just, I think this was the province to the south uh, of Ryla's Cap. Uh, there's a battle in Ryla. Okay, these are the things coming out to hopefully cause gym usage. Alright, let's check this out. They, he may have actually, if he had him retreat, they may go to a different province other than his cap. Yeah, so I think he was trying to get these, uh, these cultists actually out of, of Ryla, out of his cap. Because if they were to, let's say, retreat during the fort battle, they would be lost. So I think he has abandoned his cap. And this is probably not going to go well. Yeah. Um, and here's the battle inside of the Fort Ryla. So let's see what happens. We've got a huge army of undead and really nothing in here. So kind of the easiest cap maybe I've ever taken. 
It seems just nobody was home. He had moved everything out and was probably assuming he was mostly safe underwater. Um, I did not give him a lot of warning for attacking. I mean... Sorry if you guys heard that. That was my fire alarm. I swear to God, those things are so annoying. I have yet to find a fire alarm for my house that will not beep randomly for no reason. Uh, it's so annoying. So annoying. And, and it wasn't the battery, so anyway. Uh, it is too bad you need one of those or you will die from smoke in your sleep, potentially. But... Um, did we get through all the events? So, uh, here we go, a fairy court. Uh, a gold event, nice. A slave collar, mmm, not sure if I'm gonna think of a use for that, but we got 600 gold, pretty good. Um, and anything else? I think that's it, we got one of our grand lemurs back. Uh, this dude, which is interesting, so he died, He because he died with Ritual of Returning on him, he got like one hit killed, he still has Ritual of Returning on him. Um, because it didn't activate, he got like sniped out before that. Uh, I had searched for sites oh, here, and I'm gonna move down here with uh, this guy. We're trying to get our fire income up a bit, uh, though we're not having too much success at the moment. Uh, and as you saw, we had the kind of the easiest battle here, and it looks like Riley's just totally given up the lake. Uh, I've taken both his forts, and uh, yeah, we are going to be uh, continuing to expand out and maybe taking some of this stuff. But uh, as you can see, I've got some insanity going on here. Uh, this guy's a little insane. Uh, this guy, not insane yet. This guy, not insane yet. Uh, and this guy not insane yet, so if you're fighting Ryla, the insanity is a problem, but it's mostly a problem if you can't break their forts quickly. Because you can see I'm in really high dominion, and still, insanity is not crippling. Uh, there would have certainly a deterrent from attacking them, it is not a reason not to. Um, so, uh, we, will be we will be continuing our attack. We're going to assault. I'm assuming everything's kind of just going to fall as easily as it has, which is not really very typical of a multiplayer game, but... Uh, we're gonna go attack up here, and hopefully we can kill uh, everything inside this. If we get this throne, this will prevent Utgard from taking it, which will prevent him from throne rushing and winning, so that is something I want to do. Um, and we're going to hopefully have a big battle here. I'm gonna attack into this. We're gonna do Wailing Winds and Rigor Mortis, amongst uh, a few other things, but that should be enough to win. Um... Yeah, that's basically it. This is unfriendly Dominion. I think this is Ryla's Dominion, so we're gonna be a little careful. Like, this guy could have gone in, but we're not gonna have him just because... Um, we, uh, as you remember, we enslaved that horror, so it did not end up trigger triggering our uh, Ritual of Returning. So we're gonna cast another living castle in Stag Sea Lake, which I think is what, this one? Yeah. And this one has a Maelstrom and an Unsettling Power and a Fields of uh, Glowing Algae, which actually, you know, I'm, I'm thinking forward a few turns into where I actually am. I have not really taken advantage of this Thaumaturgy bonus, which I should, and it was one of the reasons I wanted to go Thaumaturgy 8 before I went Alt-9, but I might just rush Alt-9. Um, what can I do with Thaum-6? That's Gift of Reason. That can be useful. I can do nothing here, really. Foul Air, which I don't really want to cast. Imprint Souls. No. Earth. Melancholia, no. Yeah, nothing I particularly want to use this for until I can do Worm Mages, but... Um... You in the comments are probably thinking of stuff I should do that didn't I did not think of. Anyway, uh, we're going to continue forward. Uh, the other thing we're doing is we're putting temples up. So there's a temple going up here. I'm putting a temple in here. Uh, I want to get Ryla's Dominion out of here as fast as humanly possible. Uh, I need to put a temple up here because this is now protected. Um, I'm not moving anybody in. You can see I built... Uh, this was my living castle that came up next turn and I am building a temple here. So, yeah, we're getting a lot of temples put up in the ocean, which will push our dominion out. Um, 
And we're moving uh, this guy in with some of these guys to patrol. And he will put a temple up next turn. So that's basically the plan. We're going to try to colonize this. Once I have this and Kalem, I'm going to be really big. I mean, you can see I'm almost connecting the map except for Utgard. Now, there is a big swath of land that I don't have any bearing over, but when you have a horizontal band going across the map, you're usually in pretty good shape. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do that, and I think that is it for this turn. There's not too much to talk about here in terms of the scripting. So let's go ahead and pull up the next one, which I believe will be turn uh, 67. Uh, we have a message from Midgard. The throne I took uh, looks to be safe for now. Or the throne I hold looks to be safe. So he says he's going to take throne 74. Which is this one, but he can't defend it because he's worried about my troops up here. So I think, I can't remember exactly when I do this, I'm going to start negotiating with... Um, with Lemuria, and basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to agree very shortly here to attack Utgard. Uh, I have to break my uh, my nap with with Utgard, and I'm okay. I haven't talked with Ryla about it yet. Very soon I'm going to, um, so maybe that will be next episode. I'll hold off on talking about it. But my plan, as Midgard suggested, is to fight Ryla, and then after that, fight Utgard. Um, and he's saying, basically, his horses down here want to come defend this throne, but he can't because of me. Which is kind of fine. I'm kind of okay taking his stuff, but uh, I do not want Utgard to get a throne victory. Uh, we cast Loving Castle. We were attacked by some Soul Torn. Let's see how this goes. I, sh I might be able to win here. Depends how bad my spellcasting AI is. Like, Horde of Skeletons, please. Okay, there we go. So that was successful. So, uh, pretty nice. We are casting right through Astral Corruption right now. Uh, we got attacked by Eater of Gods, and this is actually a pretty good Doom Horror. So I think now we have... I have shown you all of the Doom Horrors. Uh, there may be one I am missing, but if so, it will not be missing for long. I am sure we will get through all the Doom Horrors. Um... A lot of Astral Claws, so the risk here, if I get attacked, is I can get further Horror Marked, which can get me into a Horror Marked Death Spiral. And these Bodyguards are not going to help against the Doom Horror, or even a normal Horror, but if I get, for whatever reason, a lesser Horror pop-up, uh, it can be pretty good. Um, and then my guy runs in, as is only appropriate, and proceeds to get the shit smacked out of him. Um, yeah, so we got hit with harm mark a few times, so that is unfortunate. He got all harm marked up. Um, unfortunately, uh, we cast Ritual of Returning and it didn't seem to do anything because we got zapped back. And... And we got zapped back. Uh, and we got attacked here by Eater of the Gods again, because we're so lucky. Um, let's see which one this is. Okay, this was, uh, our guy who was harm marked before. Yeah, he got wrecked. Um, yeah. So, that's basically life right now. Uh, this guy apparently attacked me in magic phase. Not exactly sure how this happened. Was he coming out of a fort? Not sure. My dog is going batshit crazy in my backyard. Um... Okay, we're gonna go through these real quick. Uh, we kill... Where the hell is this? Okay, yeah, we have moved here to take this from uh, Utgard. I don't want Utgard getting a throne victory, so we're gonna go take this uh, and secure it. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't one turn crack this, which would have been nice to do, but I didn't. Um, and that was that. Okay, here we are fighting Gryla. We successfully win. Uh, where is this province? Oh no, this is Gryla. Swinland? 
Okay, so here, we thought there was going to be a big army here, but there's not, so that's unfortunate. We, we're ready to fight, uh, and we kind of dodge them. And actually, while he's dodging us, it's kind of okay for him, because every time I'm committing mages to running around in his dominion, there's a chance I get uh, insanity. Okay, so he attacks us here, um, and then uh, manages to take our one PD. Um, okay, there's a big group coming in here. Let's take a quick look at them. And yeah, they basically just zapped the shit out of me, so that's a little scary. This is a pretty big army, and so if I were fighting these things... Okay, this is his pretender too. So, uh, if I were fighting these things to take the ocean, uh, it would have not been taken so easily. Um, so we can see it is not that Ryla does not have proper armies, it's that Ryla has different priorities. His priority right now is not holding on to the ocean, his priority is getting in, uh, protecting thrones, which is not unreasonable at all. Uh, I have different priorities than Ryla though. Right now my priority is not getting thrones, but rather it is taking over the world. So uh, as long as nobody sneaks a throne victory from me, I'm probably going to win. Because I, I don't know, throne rushes, I've definitely lost plenty of times to throne rushes, so it is a super viable strategy. Um, I don't think anybody can do it very easily here. I think there's too much of a balance of power between Utgard, Midgard, myself, and Ryla for anybody to rush a throne victory very easily. So I think in this particular case, it's probably better to go for an economic win. Though that said, Ryla was very, very close to a throne victory. So he's kind of still just hanging on to that. Um, for events, did I go through these? I did. Okay. Um, had some really good events that turn. Uh, so you can see we took this. Uh, we took this, uh, he came in and took this, so that was kind of annoying. Maybe he was thinking, I'm gonna come take this back, but, um, where's my guy? I thought I moved somebody here. I guess I didn't. Um, and where's my temple? I thought I was putting it. I guess I didn't build a temple here because I moved all my guys up here. Um, but yeah, we're gonna move more guys in, put in more temples. I've got my temple in, uh, Ryla's cap up. Uh, we, uh, since we survived uh, yet another assassination from Astral Corruption, we are going to be casting it again on Blue Water, which is right here. So this is a very safe spot to cast it. Uh, and then we're going to move and attack this, and uh, yeah, we want to get this taken out. Should be able to take this. I've got a pretty big army here. Uh, the only problem is, like, this guy's not coming, so that will be unfortunate. Um... Like, this would be a pretty damn good dude to bring. Uh, anything else? I don't think so. I think we're going to go ahead and try to squeeze another turn in. Not too much happened here. Uh, in terms of research, you can see still running up to all nine. And uh, in terms of casting, yeah, we're basically doing infrastructure. Um, I've got my King of the Mountains here. And then I think I'm going to get another one in a hot minute. But... Uh, right now he can't do much. The other thing I'm, I really should do, and I think I'm going to actually stop before I hit Alt-9, is I'm going to run up to Construction 6. And that will allow a few things. One is it will allow me to do Rings of Returning, which I can give to this guy, and then he can start casting uh, pretty safe in Astral Corruption. And if he dies, it's not like the end of the world. Um, but it's very unlikely with the Ring of Returning somebody's going to one-hit kill him. Though it's possible, like with Soul Slay or something like that. But anyway. Uh, I think that's it. So let's go ahead and pull up the next turn, and we will try to do a three-in-one episode. So uh, that was 67, we're on 68. Uh, a message from Utgard, very well, his Doomstack is wandering about. Uh, if I can pin it down, I can take it out. Um, we cast, oh, Maker of Ruins. This is the final of the Doomhars. So I don't think we've seen him yet. This is the last one. Um, I mean, not the last one we're going to see, but it is the last one uh, that uh, we have not seen yet. Anyway, I don't know if that made sense, but uh, he's going to come 
probably kill my dude, but we'll see. Uh, in terms of his magic paths, uh, he has none, but he has 35 protection and 200 HP. Uh, and is this in addition stun immunity and uh, fate weaving, which I actually don't know how fate weaving works. I think it gives you a chance to have an effect on you, which causes you to take double damage, but I'm not sure how that works. Um, and he has this, I think, Earthquake attack he's, he uses, Tremor, which is basically like a 25 area of effect thing that causes stun. Okay, and he hit me with that. Did it kill me? In this battle it killed me, but I think in real life it actually didn't. Yeah, in real life it did some damage, but just teleported me back. So, uh, this is just an instance of it being different with a different game version. So, that was nice. We got teleported home. Uh, she did not die. Nor, nor did she get feeble-minded. Um, and we've successfully taken that province. I think this was the, uh, the city on the coast. Uh, we are attacking here, which is where he was raiding us. And we take that. We attack here. Which is a big army now. And we will almost definitely lose this. Like, look at that banishment. Boom! Boom! Such big banishment. So yeah, these guys are dead. Um, yeah, that was a pretty big group here. So we're probably actually going to come try to fight it. Um, and then we were attacked by Illwinter. Uh, we got more gold. We're getting really good events. And uh, we got attacked by Mad Priests here. Not a big deal. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have breached this fort. We're actually going to storm it now. I think we're close enough. I've got all my infrastructure up now. My Dominion's starting to bleed through. We're going to go ahead and finish off Kalem. Uh, because I have these forts up, I want to go ahead and get my, my Dominion in here and start getting free spawn. Uh, I don't really have much more things I can put my gold into, so additional gold is not super high value. Um, I basically want to go ahead and storm this fort. So anyway, he's going to walk in and do it solo. Um... Down here, uh, this army, I don't know where it's going to go. I think it could come and attack here. If it does, we'll have a battle on one of these two. Um, I'm basically going to bring a really big army in here. We're going to be doing Grip of Winter, Stiggy and Reigns, both of which are very good. Um, Darkness and Rigor Mortis and uh, Wailing Winds. I don't think I have Anti-Magic scripted, which actually is a problem because Anti-Magic is really, really good. Uh, we're going to try to storm and take this. Uh, I've got a lot of dudes here. Should be able to take it. We've got kind of the basic stuff scripted. Anyway, we'll see how this actually goes. Um, and yeah, we haven't cracked this fort, unfortunately. We certainly would like to, but we haven't. Uh, I was thinking about building a lab here, but uh, turns out I ran out of money. And... I think that's it. Yeah, we're also going to be attacking here. I'm not sure what he has here, but we'll find out. Uh, we can see Ryla's gotten his way pretty well into blood. Uh, this is a pretty good indication of that. Fiends of Darkness and then uh, Imps. So uh, I think we know he's pretty deep into blood, which is not really good for me. Uh, blood's really good on Ryla. They can do reinvigoration and communions and then other sorts of fun stuff. Uh, blood is very good on free spawn nations in general. So, uh, that being said, um, yeah, we're going to continue sieging this down. We're going to try to storm this castle. Hopefully that works and uh, hopefully have a couple big battles. So you'll have to tune in next episode to see how they go. Let's go through diplomacy real quick. Uh, basically talking to Utgard saying that uh, I'm trying to catch one of Ryla's armies. Oh, uh, so Ryla's army, big doom stack, is here on top of Utgard. And I'm thinking there's a chance that it tries to come up here and snag this throne and get a throne victory. And so that's what this army up here is doing, is it's basically posturing around, trying to keep Ryla from getting a throne victory on this throne. In case he's going to come up this way, because I am attacking him, uh, so it's highly likely he attacks me. In case he moves his army this way, uh, we're going to go ahead and try to intercept it. So we've got some move patrol action going on. Uh, but basically, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing.
And uh, that's it for this episode. So thanks everyone for watching and uh, hope to see you next time.